movement disorders are a very broad and big group of disorders. Uh, we talk about hundreds of different conditions, both genetic and, uh, and non-genetic. And uh, while the spectrum of these disorders is really very large, uh, non-neurological symptoms may be very helpful in the differential diagnosis process because uh, the clinical neurological phenotype may be very similar uh, throughout the different conditions. So in general, we look at all the systems, but what we are interested in most are uh, eye disorders or, or uh, eye, eye abnormalities. Uh, liver disorders or disorders of the internal organs of the autonomic nervous system, um, skin, musculoskeletal system and other disorders. So, so we basically look at everything. So, and there are clues from every system that point to a very specific disorder.